Let's take a look at some recent improvements with contact forms and spam filtering in Adobe Muse. For quite some time now, Muse has supported publishing contact forms using any third-party hosting platform that has a basic version of PHP. The site we're looking at here, kickapigeon.com, is hosted on a GoDaddy hosting platform. If I click on the Pre-Order Now button and scroll on down on the page, you'll notice I have a contact form that's here. This form has standard form fields, but it also includes something known as CAPTCHA. And CAPTCHA is a service that Google provides that allows you to validate that you are a human when you fill in a form and submit it on a website. So the words here, Mika Kale, um, can be viewed, but it's very difficult for a computer, a bot, someone that's trying to spam this site to read those values. And in order to prove that I'm human, I could type in the words Mika Kale and then submit the form. And that works quite well. But over time, people that are building out different spam attack tools get smarter and smarter. And to combat that, Google has gone in and updated their CAPTCHA solution to something known as reCAPTCHA 2. Muse supports the new reCAPTCHA 2 format, and I'd like to go ahead and update this form with you with that new technique. And so to do that, I'll just create a new tab and go to Google reCAPTCHA, and I'll click on into that page. Now I've logged in with my Google account, so when I click on Get reCAPTCHA, it remembers any of the other sites I might have applied reCAPTCHA to. So I'll just come in here and I'll enter my domain name. And I'll enter it under the domain here as well. And then I'll click the register button. Google now takes me into an area where I can see both what's known as a public key and a private key for my site. Now that I have those keys visible, I'm going to switch over into Adobe Muse, and let's go on into this contact form. Now, I've already published this form before using the first version of reCAPTCHA. As I move down on the page, let's get this so it's nicely visible, you can see I have reCAPTCHA 1 on the page. I'll click on the form and bring up the options. And in the CAPTCHA dropdown, you'll notice that Google's 1.0 reCAPTCHA is selected. If I click on the drop-down, you'll see there's actually three different CAPTCHA solutions that Muse supports. The first is reCAPTCHA, the older version of Google. reCAPTCHA 2 is the new version that I want to apply at this point. And then there's BC CAPTCHA. BC CAPTCHA is specifically if you host your site using Adobe Business Catalyst in either a trial form or a full-on upgraded shipping form, you can use the CAPTCHA that is built for Business Catalyst in that instance. I want to switch to reCAPTCHA 2 and keep your eye on the form there on the left. As I come in and select reCAPTCHA 2, the graphic, the design changes to this new technology that Google is supporting. So at this point, I'm presented with a deeper level of controls, the actual reCAPTCHA controls, where I'm asked for a public and private key. I want to switch back over to the website where I have those keys available. And I'm going to come and select the public key, or just what's called the site key here. I'm going to select it and copy it onto the clipboard, switch back over to Muse, and click to select the CAPTCHA widget, expand that with the options, and paste in that public key. I'll switch back over to the browser, select that second secret private key. I'm going to copy that to the clipboard, expose those options one more time, and enter the private key. Now, there are additional options you can work with. You can change the theme of the CAPTCHA technology that's used here. You can decide which labeling attributes you want to show. Um, you can change its size to better fit the form that you're working with. I'll leave the defaults at this point, and I'll go ahead and pull down on File to publish to my FTP hosting platform. Okay, now that the upload is done, let's take a look at the finished site. We're here on the landing page. 
Let's switch over to that pre-order contact page. And I'll scroll down on the page. And notice I now have the reCAPTCHA 2 form field here on the page. I do want to emphasize if you've published sites in the past using reCAPTCHA 1 with Google, there's no reason to update your Muse website. You only need a new key if you either are creating a brand new site or if you want to enhance the security on your existing site by upgrading it to reCAPTCHA 2. I encourage you to give the new reCAPTCHA feature a try in Adobe Muse.